This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest in myself, Mr. Kevin. We are Music Love Life, and welcome <laughs> to another episode. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Kevin. Calls himself yeah. Mr. Kevin. <laughs> Mr. Kevin. <laughs> that, is his in- that is his Instagram name. Is it? Yeah. It is. Is it? I went like, why do people... Why do you what did you choose that because Kevin was your your full name was gone? No, because a boy started calling me Mr. Kevin. I was about to say I was like a preschool teacher. Okay, sub, yeah. But a substitute though. Yeah. You're yeah. not even the lead. You're not even you're a paraprofessional. It, it is a paraprofessional. Right. I, now when I saw it, because you got you gotta pretend like they're more important than they are. <laughs> right. By putting a, a, Mr. a, a right, right, yeah, in front of their name. Mr. That's Kevin. That's cute though. I like that. That's real cute. Well, you know, I'm 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 not a, a young youth anymore. Right, you are I've, stepping I've got into some, some yeah, gray in my beard. Redundant, yeah. you know. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm proud of you, man. I mm-hmm. see the I see the growth. Well, thanks. You think I'm joking? You're looking at me like there's another thing I'm gonna say after that. I'm serious. Cause no dude says, that. "Hey, man, I see your I see your growth." But that's but that but maybe you all should. Gay. Maybe you guys should. I don't like that. We're starting on a bad foot. What, I don't um, like us. I just gave this dude a, a, yeah. a real mature compliment. Yeah, we're not mm. going to say that it sounds like a sexual preference, okay? We're not going <laughs> to say that. Mm. not going to say that, guys. Mm-mm. I see your growth, man. I'm, I'm proud of you. Pause. <laughs> he just don't want to take it. Can't. Not that kind of growth. Nah, Why would you man. even go there with it? Nah, B. <laughs> That's yeah, weird. guys. So, um, so you're a disappointment. Nah, How about that? Nah, I got, I got man got to protect his masculinity, man. Is you, you're a disappointment. You like that better? Why would I like it? Be, why do I want to be insulted? <laughs> it's no winning. It's yes. no winning with this. There's no winning. You're so juvenile. And you guys say that women don't know what they want. You're so juvenile. Hoteps See? don't know what they want. I'm, I'm just protecting my masculinity, man. <laughs> Well, speaking of hoteps, uh, did you get a chance to see that? Did either of you see the Oscars? No, no. I didn't watch. No. I saw some pictures. So, you know what? I heard it was very black. That's what I'm saying. Well, first of all, I don't know about it being very black. There are a lot of black people want, right? So, so I, you know. And oh, that happens every day. Well, it does. It does. It does happen every day. Not at the day. Oscars? You know what? I, this, I, that Without Kevin Hart? Without Kevin Hart, actually, it was better without a host. It it went through. There was no host. There was no host. But you know what? When there's a host, how sometimes the person can do a little bit too much, and it's like awkward. You can tell the audience is like just kind of sitting there, and the person's trying to make jokes, and it's just kind of it's just kind of it's just awkward sometimes. Who was the last host? Was it, it wasn't Chris Rock? Was it? He did like two or three years ago, right? I thought he did. Um, that's I, weird that they would have. I, I've never seen an award show without a host. But but it it went smoothly. So they had it like kind of like like sub hosts though, right? Well, like, different people that basically the show, I don't know. There must have been a hell of a of a. There was a producer a, there that just had some balls and was like, yeah, you know like, what? Go, Fuck it, you go now. Like this, how we doing? Yeah, I mean, everybody it, it, listen it up. It went it went very smoothly. So at the very beginning, there was no like monologue or anything. Mm-mm. They just, just well, get, shit, Queen get up opened up. Queen, Queen, the band. That um, obviously the movie Bohemian Rhapsody was about. But the dude's about. dead. Um, well, there was a guy that Adam Lambert stood in for him. But the rest of the band was there. So like a tribute band. Yeah. Well, no, it's the actual queen. Freddie Mercury. Lam- ain't, ain't, that's like Harold Melvin. That's like right. Teddy P and not in Harold Melvin. And You're right. But 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 the rest of the band was there. And it was a, it was a, it was a great tribute. I'm, I mean, you're right. Uh, that's like, Freddie that's Mercury like LTV voice. with no Jeffrey Osborne. Well, his voice is so... You get Tyrese one of a kind temptations. <laughs> that may work. J Lo is a Motown singer. Oh, that well, that that happened recently, right? <laughs> she did the Motown tribute and Smokey Robinson. So was it good though? They opened well. They opened well. I mean, like I said, Freddie Mercury's voice is just a signal. Like you, you can't duplicate that. So I think Adam Lambert did the best he could. I mean, but they got just... a, another gay guy. They were hoping that would work it out. Can we say gay that way? I know he can't say gay in a derogatory way. We can, way. we can. I mean, but that's but but Adam Lamb- Am- He's gay, right? He is gay. He is, and Freddie Mercury was. He was. He was gay. The name of the group is Queen. It, it is. It is. <laughs> but ironically, the rest of the guys are not gay. <laughs> ain't no. Ain't no. Prove it. Ain't no dude. They're married. A lot no, of them have wives. Not beards. Ain't no dude <laughs> gonna call his group Queen. But right? you know what? There was a lot of androgynous type 
things back then that, like, a lot of the bands were, would and do Keep Android. the same energy. If that's the case, Bill Cosby raped them women then. What? How does, we, that doesn't even make any how, sense. Because yeah, the you, times, if, if back then you could be androgynous and that was that was okay, then Bill Cosby putting a, you know what I'm saying, doing no, a party we, drug. No, that doesn't make any sense. They were illegal. doing drugs together. No, party drugs. No. What we're talking about is two very different didn't wear seatbelts. You know, the 60s. <laughs> 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 they used to play football with leather helmets, dude. That's true. My grandfather did. Oh, uh, yeah. He must have got hit a couple times in the head, which might have affected his sperm, which may... I'm not sure. I don't know what you're getting at. <laughs> ah, anyway, the group performed. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, was, it was a great... I, I enjoyed it. It was, it was a great show. Black Panther did not win. Shouldn't however, have. However, uh, the costume design won. Like, a lot, a lot of the people that were behind the scenes for Black Panther right. won. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a lot... Of, there were just some heavy contenders with the Best, best Picture. Bohemian Rhapsody, um, uh, A Star is Born, which was one of my favorites. I, I think all the three of those movies are my favorites. I don't know which one I like You better. really, you knew all those movies? Fa- I did. Favorites? You can, I mean, one favorite. But I have favorites because those are all three. Those are three of my favorite movies. You got now. like four best friends too? I have a few BFFs. Not possible. It is, but I mean, how can you pick between those? Are so very different. Like Bohemian Rhapsody was um, a great biopic on Queen. A Star Is Born was a great remake. Tragic love. It was a remake, but it was a tragic love story. And then Black Panther was just like all kinds of mm. you know black magic. So, so you thought Black Panther should have won or should have been even in the running? I th- I compared I think- to Bohemian Rhapsody and A Star Is Born. Definitely the storyline wasn't on the same level, but <laughs> <Come> on, <man. laughs> the storyline was not on the same level. We're but talking I mean, about but Marvel a, movie. But that's because, it's, like I said, it's a Marvel movie. So we, you know. That's why it shouldn't even have been nominated. I don't know about that. It's they a Marvel good, movie. Kugler, but you well, know so why? You're you know supposed why? to take those seriously? No. But, but you know why? It's I a will, comic book. But do you know why I do think that? Because what? I feel like Ryan Coogler was able to make a comic book a have. Film. make No, no. Lots of people make a film. But able to make a statement. And able to move culture with taking this comic and making it into a movie. He was Only able because to do it was black. Lot. It wasn't Coogler. It was the fact that it was Black no, Panther. No, but he did a lot. But 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 there's the. It was Black Panther. But he was able to make it make a political statement. I feel like, and that was and that's huge. And the fact that the movie did so well. It, it was, did well because it was a black superhero. That, no, the, the reason why believe, this movie did uh, well. Meteor Man did not do well. No, come on, man. Meteor Man was even more of a joke. It was a satire. Black Panther was not a joke at all. No, it was. I'm not gonna do that no. this show. It was just it was we a joke. Did this it's a, it's a it Marvel not. movie. It's a Marvel movie, but it was a great that's it was why a great Cap- adaptation of it. That's why Captain Please. Marvel's gonna do so poorly. This dude has a Batman t shirt right now. <laughs> like Ooh. you. I don't. I'm I don't, sure you do. I don't know. I wouldn't Cap- be surprised if you had a America Batman t-shirt. tattoo or something. Captain like America. Captain America t shirt. Is that a man's man to you, Captain America? I mean, he's a military <laughs> dude. He's military <laughs> he dude. Just insulted your man. Is that is that a man's man? His name is Mr. Kevin. <laughs> is this your king? <laughs> is this your king? <laughs> is this your sub? Is this your sub for the day? <laughs> oh my God! Are you okay? Well, Kevin, Spike Lee won, as you know. Spike Lee won. Spike, off. congrats. Spike. Okay, first of all, Spike was hilarious. If you guys saw him go up to the podium, he obviously knew he was going to win or got a good tip off because <laughs> he had like statistics written out like a whole tip would. That had like and 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 he was stumbling through the statistic in 1941, 40 percent. I mean, he just was reading the, all these statistics that had nothing to do with the emotion of the moment, and it was almost a, a, a lose. It was almost see, a lose. See, I'm it was. so disappointed. I'm disappointed. It was bad. I'm disappointed because I didn't I'm even see it. In but you. I know what his point was. He was like, "I'm going to use this platform for some for some of the fucking." But he was stumbling through the words. He was. And it was, he was not. It was not eloquent. And he. It wasn't. And he, it wasn't. He just should have spoke in the moment because I. Lo- I'm a fan. I have. Have amazing respect for him, but that was the wrong way to handle that moment. He should have just spoke from his heart. Reading from a paper that he could not, I mean, at points it was painful. Like, can he read? <laughs> well, he Who posted, wrote these notes. He later posted his speech on social media. Because and we what did he not was hear trying it that to night. say was 1619 to 2019 were 400 years that our ancestors were taken but from we Africa. But we didn't hear it that night. Yeah, That's we didn't what he hear was trying it. to get out. I know, say, but he was stumbling and he yeah, was so I'm the nervous. Son of my ancestors and I win tonight. Da, da, da. That's was, where he was going with it. It ended but, into a very weird, awkward moment where I, I just knew the music was going to come. And, and if anybody was more overdue for it's his first win right yeah. it's his first win and there are a couple of movies that should have probably made it Malcolm X should have won Malcolm X definitely even though I've heard that it's a, it was a bad retelling 
from some historians. Some historians don't agree with the retelling, but I thought the movie. Well, was, were they were they were they? Uh, Islam? They didn't agree with the new edition <laughs> story. I were they Muslims? Like, <laughs> I thought the movie was amazing. They Denzel were probably uh, members of uh, the uh, honorable uh, Elijah Muhammad's <laughs> family that didn't like the way it was told. I've never seen a movie make a person be that person. Like Ray Charles, mm-hmm. even though De- Jamie did a good job, mm-hmm. it's still Ray Charles. Right. Muhammad Ali is not Will Smith. Yeah, Malcolm X, Denzel Mal- Washington is Malcolm, now X Malcolm X is. Is yeah, Denzel Denzel Washington to a lot of people. Yeah. Even though, even though, I mean, you know, when you go back and you see some of listen to some of Malcolm's speech, he's like, oh fuck. He looks different. It's a different guy. But yeah. Denzel did such a great job. We of prefer it. that one. I prefer that rendition. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going with. You do with. too? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very much. Yeah. That was a great film. For different oh, no, reasons. No, no, no. I, I, For different reasons, obviously. I thought he was talking about you to prefer Denzel over Malcolm, the real Malcolm. That's what she does. Saying. No, no, that's oh, not. That's what, what she was saying. That's what I said. Oh, I misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, like, I'm like, are you sure? I'm <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> for different I'm glad I cleared that up. What the hell are you talking about then? I was like, was there different... another Malcolm X movie we don't <laughs> know? About? Maybe you said Malcolm X and I was just nodding and agreed. Yeah, I, I agree. I, was... <laughs> I agree. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, no, I, I was... prefer to I now when I think of Malcolm X, I just think I prefer to just see Denzel Washington. But that's what I'm saying. I think that a lot of people did. Yeah. It just it, he 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 encapsulated it. She he, always salivating over some man. You know? No, Denzel. Denzel, is, Denzel is amazing. I'm a lot of women like Denzel and his black clans. And Dude, Denzel, Denzel was Washington used in a Jr. scientific experiment that it proved why he was so. Because you know he was one of people's most beautiful uh, beautiful people. Not his uh, not his pinky finger. Okay. You ever dude. seen that pinky finger? I've never seen that. That don't... motherfucker got a lean to it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, he doesn't know what you're talking about. I don't know about. why I know this. I don't know <laughs> why I know this. Know... Why do you pay so much attention <laughs> to actors' fingers? Because you knew about Sonali. Curving his it's finger? Just... Why is that? What is wrong with you, man? Hey, nah, man. You knew that Sonali is hyper homo. He is hyper had... <laughs> homo. Where's, where's your man? See, that's the white this, side. You're this, too comfortable no. with the gay shit. This, oh, that's not gay. Nah, man. A finger is not gay. What are you doing with your finger, sir? <laughs> Mr. Kevin, what do you, mm. Mr. Kevin, what do you do with your fingers? Denzel shit is like is it's like if this were standing like this, his finger is crooked did, right there. I don't there. know how you know that. That's just some weird fun fact. I don't know. How do you pay attention it's to just, that? Because you just also odd. knew about Sanaa Lathan's short fingers. Yes, you knew, mm-hmm. and I don't know anyone else that knew until it was fun facts. Out. I don't know. What do you keep a, a, a short list of, of <laughs> sure. deformed celebrities? Mm-hmm. Oh my! You God. got DJ Paul's arm. You don't have. Everybody sees that shit. Who is DJ Not Paul? when he had From a handkerchief. Six Mafia. Oh. You can't oh. see it. Come on, man. What? When he got the handkerchief. Can we you can't not? See can it. we not? Can we not? It's not there. He's you can't handicapped. See it. That's not funny. You're making fun of handicapped. He's holding a cup. You know what? You're, you know what? <laughs> DJ Paul, I'm not a part of that. I don't know. You don't. You That's can't dumb. be a whole tep and make fun of your hip hop history. Yeah, why not? Those are they're legends, man. They, I I love. I don't funny. think Three Six them, Mafia is a you know, legend. Hey. What were we saying? I was saying his son is in the movie too, right? And you, no, his son is in Black Black Klansman, which Spike won Lee, was Spike, Spike yeah, was Spike, Spike Lee won for. That's true. That's true. And 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 it was a great moment because Sam used to see um, Spike Lee and Samuel Jackson embrace. Um, later that night was really cool. There's pictures of that online. Spike Lee is a weird one because I don't think he got. I don't think he gets respect from black people a lot of times. I, he used to. I don't know what happened. I think he was just he was just hollering. He was always complaining about something a little too much, I think. Um, and I, you know I think, what? Okay, so there's some truth to that because he's always been a short, angry, pro, pro-black man. He is. Right? He, and he's, he's brilliant because I think we were on board a long time. And then it was just like, but you're still angry? Because it was coming. Like, his first film had Lawrence Fishburne in... Close up, yelling. That wasn't his first film. film. That was not that his, was his first third film. film. Yeah, that was not okay. it. The first was um, she's got to have, have it, have it. Okay, which true. was the the black woman that was enjoying just enjoying her sexuality. And then it was do the right thing. And then it was school days. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. well, um, where was Mo Better Blues in there though? After that. After that. Yeah. that, that okay. I like I like Mo Better Blues. Film. One of my favorite right. films. I thought Mo Better Blues was a really good movie. Absolutely. That was definitely but, in one. Of oh the my! It changed my life. But the, but he didn't really get respect. It's kind of like Prince. You know how Prince had like that. Re- he was real strong in the beginning, right? But then when he stopped being naked on his album covers, uh, well, he got saved and then he put the slave on. He didn't want to. He did He messed up his momentum by changing his name to the artist formerly known as Prince. He was just a symbol. He, he had to kind of do that to 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 get out of his contract stuff. Yeah, but it also hurt his. It hurt his buzz. And he did like eight hundred <laughs> songs from that point till yeah. he died. And we like, don't what? know any of them. None of them because they sucked. <laughs> It's, that's kind of like how Spike Lee Spike Lee made a lot of B movies in between Black Klansmen. But he and also did some great movies that people game. didn't even know that he um, that he produced. Like, like um, the what is the it was um, 
Oh my gosh, it was like an action film. Oh, you're talking about production. I'm talking about his. Well, he directing. directed though. He, he directed, directed it too? Yeah, he directed it. It's a. I can't think of the movie, but it's it's um. The family that prays. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not that. It's definitely not that. Although that was a great movie that did not fit the usual Tyler, Tyler Perry. Perry scheme. Because yeah. I was like, this is a really good movie. How can it... Po-? Not to say that Tyler Perry movies aren't good, but They're usually not. you can follow, you know what's going to happen before. I mean, yeah, there's the, no... The, the good looking guy is going to be an They're asshole. Bad. It's going to be, a, it's gonna be a single mom who's downtrodden in despair and filled right. with despair. Right. And this... Somebody's going to get put in a tub and almost and drown. This overly handsome guy wants to really love her and her children. Right. And she can't possibly accept the love because she's never been treated right. And he rides the bus. And he drives the bus or, you know, does some other manual labor type job that's right. sexy but yet poor. Right. And they end up happily ever after. And it's- I think that... Then he, he, tried, he tried to be Alex Cross. And it was just like, what is this nigga doing? Oh, that was really odd. You know what I did like him in, though? Gone Girl. Oh, I forgot he was. Yeah, I it, liked him unexpectedly. Yeah, like, right. whoa, this is a surprise. He fits that part. He did. That's his character. <laughs> Can I be honest? And sure. I know this is gonna. So before now, you haven't been. I, but I'm just saying. <laughs> We're like I'm gonna say something. Like, I hate when people say that. <laughs> I'm gonna say something that's that's shocking that you guys are probably gonna be shocked by. But you smashed I, Donna Perry. I like Medea. I enjoy. I love it. I, I do. I love it. I love it. I don't love mm. it. I do. I enjoy it. It's funny to me. Mm-hmm. I That's like funny. him better as Medea than, than as Tyler. It's it's funny. Like, it's the grandmother that everybody has that says whatever she wants because she can. I enjoy it. Mm. I do. Mm. I'm kind of sad that he killed her. She's dead? He's de- he, he's he's no longer doing Medea. Good, good. And no more, I, why'd I get married? Three. We don't want to see that. I don't, I don't, I don't. Why, why does black cinema have to always be so serious? Like, why, why are we not allowed to have Tyler Perry as just like the national lampoons? Like, why can't the Medea series be the black that? I mean, I think, I, I, I think it is. Um, national lampoons. Does everything funnier. have to be Green Book? No, but I mean, well, don't, Green Book wasn't a black film. It was a it, it, it dealt with civil rights. It was a but black it dude in it. Yeah, but look but though, we have uh, the, the Wayans brothers movies are like that. There's those, no, are, those are national like lampoons. Those. People yeah. don't. I, it's almost like people don't consider the Wayans brothers to be black. They don't get. They I don't, do. I, I feel like the Wayans brothers don't get the credit as as far as them being a family and and doing what they've done and level of success. Like when when we think about black movies, we aren't thinking about the Wayans brothers. And and their catalog is massive. I think about I, I think thought. how to survive in South Central while drinking juice in the hood was very black. Yeah, it was and, extremely and, black. And I, if, foolish. I don't like that either. <laughs> foolish. I didn't like it. You like Medea, but I like it- I do I do like Medea, but I don't. You know, they sometimes take the joke too far. But I realize there's an audience for that. Mm. I think I think my problem, National Lampoons, is not showing. That side of white people Where I feel like Ignorance? Tyler Perry Is just that like Well I think Honestly I don't think Now the, the way is, more, is it more Step and fetch it Is that what you're trying to Kind of Especially Mr. Brown Soft shoe I mean cause Medea is Mammy And Mr. Brown is who Mr. Brown is not Mammy okay? No no I'm saying it's like Oh I, I'm like come mm, on He's a character I don't though. think Medea is Mammy That's not true Medea is the grandmother that's Medea outspoken. Medea is Mammy. Mammy would, Medea could not speak. Is Mammy. No, she's not. That's two different stereotypes. Loud, boisterous. Mammy was not loud. Aggressive with the pistol. Mammy, yeah. Mammy, she, what are you talking? Mammy, Mammy was the the sa- the servant that served that that took care of the white people's children. Mm-hmm. She was not loud. And, and he ain't she would have got beat. No, it's like it's. Is or confused. in that regard, it's like Medea just doesn't have a master. There's no, there's what? no white people in it like that. She couldn't. No master's going to put up with a loud Hell woman. Nah. What are you talking about? That doesn't mm-hmm. make any sense. You've got your Amongst stereotypes. The slaves, you can't. No, nah, Medea's. Th- there are no loud slaves. Th- that's not, <laughs> what are you talking oh, about? God. I didn't say that there were. Never mind. <laughs> it's so. It's so. This is why. This is why. Hoteps, mm-hmm. as you put it, hate trying to like have certain conversations and explain shit. Because even when you it go, it doesn't make sense. Uh, <laughs> there's no, no, facts. Because, there's no facts. No, to back because it up. you don't even listen long enough to even hear what the fuck is to be being fair, said. To be fair, she's a woman. It, that was a low blow. To be fair, I mean, but you can't say something like Medea is Mammy, and then you name characteristics that, that were not, not mammy. fit Mammy. So I'm yeah. like, you didn't, you didn't. Okay. The you didn't only, give your the case only very characteristic well. okay. that would fit maybe the size, black, 
and black. <laughs> that's it. And a woman. And a woman. Kind that's, of. Because he's not really a woman. <laughs> It is that's that's not enough being a large black woman. No, no. Loud. Well, damn, that could be She's Nell not, Carter. Not, Mammy was not loud. Nell though. Carter was Mammy too. Oh my God! What's Mammy the weather girl? Not, Who's the weather girl? I mean, I just want to clear that because that that is a part of our history. The, the woman that took care of the slaves, that the slaves, her her children, and then also the master's children was not loud. She could not be loud, or she would have been name a black killed. woman you know that's All not right. loud. One is being beat. Shut up! Oh, you know what? Shut up! Okay, One I can't. I can't go anywhere <laughs> to eat, go movie, anything without somebody making a lot of noise. Mm-hmm. Now look, who is it? Mammy, new new mammy. <laughs> Shut up! Have we given Tyler Perry enough grief about? Is that why he he succumbed to the pressure and he's killed? I don't know. Maybe he's just tired of it. No, you know what? Tyler Perry though is is a, a G for real though, because mm-hmm. uh, people in the, who are in Atlanta don't know that, but he's. He has really done his thing mm-hmm. professionally, business wise. Yeah, mm-hmm. Medea's I mean, he's built Medea's amazing, dumb, but an amazing empire. Yeah, it's not dumb because people connect to it. You know what I mean? Like, I think there are a lot of people that. I mean, obviously, there's a big audience for people. I mean, that he's doing a, a farewell tour with the plays, and and they're sold out. I mean, there's yeah. an audience for that. Mm-hmm. That may not be right. I get it. You're, no, I'm not know. mad because I think the only thing Tyler Perry doesn't have is distribution. He has everything else. He has everything else because he. I mean, he's he has yeah. everything else. And I don't I, even know if he needs it though. Because <laughs> he he has everything else. He's for the people well. who aren't in Atlanta, there's a there's an army base. Uh, well, a, a a closed army base, Fort McPherson here in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. That's pretty big. He bought a major the majority of Fort McPherson and turned yep. it into his studio. Studio, and then that before that he had another large. Near Greenbrier, yeah, yeah. Near Greenbrier, that's huge. And that, all the movies you're seeing with those sets, those are mm-hmm. actually on his property. That's he's not going. Yeah, he's not on location. A, yeah. but he has that as his set. Yep, crazy. I, so I guess this brings us to <laughs> Tyler Perry, definitely, and Madea. Um, you know, brings us to our, our another topic we're going to talk about, which is Billy was, Porter. Which is Billy Porter, and and the fact that there was an argument after the Oscars. He was one of the hosts of um, the pre-show where they, you know, interviewed the celebrities coming in on the red carpet. One of my favorite parts of the Oscars. Who um, is Billy Porter? Where would I know him from? You wouldn't. You probably would not know him, but he is a... Because um, he, he was the black guy in the tuxedo dress? No, no, but where but would I know him on, from? I've seen I, that, that picture. He's on, the photo. Um, I think there's there's a show for gay people. Um, well, it's for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's on... I can't... I no, think, you said it right. No, but I mean, it's, it's specifically... It's a show for gays. It's, it's okay if, they have, if that's their audience. It's their... It is. What's the name of the show? I think it's queer. Um, Paul Drag it, Race have his. That's I think it's queer. Audience. The queer, queer eye. Is it queer eye for this? Queer eye for the straight guy. But what? Not. What kind of shit is that? Can you can you pull up the name of the show, Kevin? So queer eye for the straight guy. What kind of? There was a show called Queer Eye where they where there were gay <laughs> men who are, are are known for being really good at decorating. They would help a straight guy to decorate. Because you guys don't really know how. You to Never heard things. of that show? No. It was, it was even a Dave Chappelle joke. So no Scarface poster. No, no, absolutely no, not. No, uh, neon, do, no, no neon, no neon Budweiser. Playing poker. What about the neon Budweiser? No, thing. No, and why do? Can we just sidebar? Sure. Why do black men all have the um, Scarface poster in their? <laughs> <laughs> what is that about? What What is that? Seriously, I don't know. guys, what is that? Oh, the, you know, it's one of the greatest movies, though. Why do you guys? It's not even to that it? great of a movie, but why, it's one of the greatest movies. But why do black men connect to it so much? Because it's rags to riches. It's from. It's making something out there of nothing. There are a lot of m- m- movies that are rags have you to riches. Seen, wait, have you not seen like that Scarface one. though? Not like that. Like, one. Of course. I could, because it's, it's for someone to say, "Why do you like it so right. much?" Like, have you seen it? I've seen it, but <laughs> I don't understand yeah. why every black man has a poster in his house. Like, you know. Po- oh God. <laughs> you know. <it. laughs> I don't understand. Plans. <laughs> oh Are we? Uh, yeah. So, so anyway, Billy so, Porter. He, so Billy Porter was was interviewing celebrities. He was dressed, and you know the Oscars red carpet is one of the biggest ones. Billy Porter. But does it say the name of the show? That's why I was trying to get you to Google the name of the show. Um, it, it doesn't. It does not. But if you Google it, you would find it. I just can't Google because my phone. He's is an dead. actor, singer, writer, director. Come on. Can man. we Google it and find the name of the show? Um. Um. But in any case, he is on a sh- on a show. That is that that is very clear that he is gay, but he was there in a in a tuxedo, a tuxedo that turned into a full gown, right? And it caused a lot of conversation. Um, 
I'm not sure why people. I mean, he's he's gay and he's flamboyant. I mean, that's you know, it, it and actually it fit very well. I mean, just you know, from a perspective of of how it looked, it was very striking. It was very dramatic. It was definitely uh, fit for the Oscars red carpet. It's saying pose. Po- oh, po- okay, pose. Yeah, pose is as a very popular trend setting show that has gay men and transgenders as well. Janet Mock is on that show. Hmm. Very, he, very. He's been on a lot of stuff, though. Actually, I didn't. I've never heard of this dude. But yeah, so, I don't see the show you're talking about, though. Okay, so that might I, that might have been wrong. That might have been wrong. But Pose is a very popular show. I apologize to the Billy Porter fans. Law and Order. He's been on that show a few times. Get the Get Down. He was in the Get Down on Netflix, I guess. Okay. American Horror Story. So yeah, so he's he's a so established, he's around, yeah. established actor, but he had on a, a, a tuxedo dress. Did he Again, ever? Did he ever say why? Did he ever well, he's speak gay about it? And yeah, over the top, yeah. and he looked yeah. snatched. He was. Ve- I mean, he was he very. What? He, he was snatched. I mean, he was. He, that means his, you know, he it fit very well. He you thought it looked good? I do. I think it looked good for a gay man to wear. I mean, they wear, I mean, he dresses as a woman. I mean, they dress effeminately. So I think it looked, I thought it looked really nice. So as, as I understand, it was a tribute to uh, an, a fashion designer, a ballroom designer, um, Hector Extravaganza. Okay. That's the... That That's the comparison. So he had, so that outfit had actually been worn previously, and it was supposedly a, something a, a like tribute. that. Yeah. Well, it look, I mean, it it is definitely something that I would love to wear. It looks like Scarlett O'Hara and Gone with the Wind. It's Gone with the Wind, fabulous. But the question, the 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 conversation came up that there that there's like this movement to emasculate the black man, and he was a, he's become the poster boy for that. I think the 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 conversation is ridiculous because gay men don't consider themselves straight black men. So what a gay man does should not affect what straight black, you know, it, we can't say a gay man is emasculating or a gay man's image is emasculating the black community. Well, that doesn't okay. make sense. Well, okay, devil's advocate, when we're talking about images, the way that he looks, he looks like a man. Mm-hmm. However, he's not dressed like a man. Mm-hmm. So you can't say that that doesn't influence, there's no influence there. You're warming up to it whether you want to or not. The more you True. see it, the more you're. It's, the more it's um, standardized. I don't say standardized. Well, it becomes normal. becomes It becomes a standard. It's a little normalized. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I mean, I can understand the argument that 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 who though. There, but I'm, my problem is that there's this there's this movement of non-blacks that are secretly trying to emasculate the black man, and it's okay. black men doing it. Okay. Well. Well. Okay. So, uh, um, what's Will Smith's son? Jaden. He was for one of the the designers. Vogue. No, no, he did a he wore a dress. What was the name of the Calvin Klein dress, maybe? Oh, yeah, okay. He had it like his a line or something. I it thought was something. it was Vogue. It might have been Calvin. Is Vogue Klein. a line? No, I thought he was wearing somebody's clothes. Oh, okay. Oh, he has actually. See what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, he saying. actually he was, had right. the young thug, uh yeah. Louis Vert. Does he wear dresses too? Uh yeah. He just wears like blouse. Oh, he has at one point. He wears blouses. He wears skirts wear also. Colored yeah. he paints his nails or something. Yeah. yeah. But it's not like he's these are bi- black. They're bisexual. He's bisexual. Who are? Who is? The These people you're naming. Jaden Smith is bisexual. I don't know. Jaden has definitely said some things that would lead people to believe that he is bisexual. <laughs> he did say he did say he's like I don't know. He he likes uh, he was Tyler. In, cre- yeah, he was in Tyler love the with creator, yeah. That wasn't like that. a joke. I thought I was hoping that was a joke though. He was like just being extra. I, I, I don't know. I mean, if you say that and you also wear a dress, I mean, yeah, maybe it's just you could just trying to get attention. But what I'm saying is they're using that that people want to get attention to be shocking, mm-hmm. but they're also normalizing or at least. Making but I don't more. think this is. I, I I get what you're saying, but I don't think this is others. I don't think that Calvin Klein or these other designers are specifically targeting black men. Okay. I think those black men want to be a part of that, and they're reaching out. I mean, they love the idea that no one is making you do something that you don't want to do. I don't think any other community can force anything. Oh no, on I agree. Our community. I agree. You know, if Kevin point, wants to wear a dress. He can come on live. Yeah, he can be on the show and next that week. That does not dress. mean that you know you're a part of this agenda to I'm glad emasculate I have your the black support. men. To emasculate the black man. I think the only people emasculating the black man are black men. Mm. No, absolutely not. Stop oh, that. Oh, black, you, black you woman. stood up. Mm. Yes, because that's bullshit. Who is emasculating you all? More than anybody, black women. Oh, my God. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, my hold goodness. On, hold how on, hold is that possible? Hold on, hold on. By being successful? Hold on. No. By being filled hold with black girl magic? Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Now, how do you define... Being emasculated, a man being emasculated. What is what does that mean to you? I mean, um, I guess changing the face of what masculinity would be, taking away the 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 pride of the man. Yeah. So the the absence of masculinity is it, or the the detracting the masculinity. Right. Okay, I'll go with okay. that word. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, okay, and, and so 
but you said you said that women are not responsible for no, they're not doing absolutely that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. How could I possibly how could I possibly take something away from someone that I didn't give them? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give you that, but I got it. It's mine now. What is? Mm. Does that a real? Was that that's a real? That's not st- the same thing, though. You can't take away my pride. You don't. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, that's that's not Let me the same. Throw it on the a ground and crack the same. it to a thousand pieces. But I'm saying you can't. I can't say that you took my pride away. That doesn't make any sense. If you're a man, then you should. Uh, anything a woman does. That's like me saying a man has taken away my femininity. How could he possibly do that? You can't do anything to me to take away my femininity. Try, try right now. I dare you. <laughs> you can't So I can't take away Your masculinity By being successful That's foolish What? what you keep saying that That's because not what that's anybody said Because that's the only said. thing It's going to turn into Black men only complain About the fact that Black women don't put up With their shit And that's considered Oh she's emasculating him No he's just a I wack. don't even know no, How no, to no. speak to this It's so ridiculous <laughs> That claim is so ridiculous Kevin that's How Okay upset. tell me Tell me, tell me, be honest, tell me how women could possibly emasculate. Because you said, you said black women could have possibly. Is, could possibly. You it said starts black early. Women. <laughs> when? When, you, when they're little boys and they're telling them, that's bitch shit. Uh, I mean, it, it, it starts early. Well, where is the father to offset that? Has he run away? Oh, we're talking about left. women. But now, I'm saying, how are, we jumping out of, how are we jumping to men now? Because you can't blame a mom for doing it, something that she's not equipped to do. A no, mother she, cannot. But you, you're not equipped to, you're not supposed to emasculate, though. We don't. Okay. No, let her talk because she was about to do it just then. <laughs> right. She was about to do it just then. I was about to emasculate mm-hmm. just then. Go ahead. Ooh. I, I mean, Did I, he I, run away? Go I'm ahead. Just saying, but that, that that is not emasculating. <laughs> that him. is. That's what. That's his what, actions emasculated him. You probably drove him right. Out. But oh let's let's say he's gone though, he's right? A bitch. <laughs> he is. Mm. I mean, I, <laughs> all you have to do is push. Now not even hard. She can't even. She can't even stop. Yo. she can't stop being emasculated. Mm-hmm. She's, she can't that is so she's stupid. She's been trained. <laughs> oh right. my god! By, she's been trained by the to do. She's man. been programmed by the to, white man. Yes. Hey. Oh my mm-hmm. God. That's so I don't stupid. know who trained you. I don't know. If a person runs away and leaves you his family. You said the exact mm-hmm. things that we said are. I ain't shit because you right. get food stamps. Right. What? <sighs> oh Damn shame. <laughs> what? <sighs> that made no sense. No, it made absolutely no sense. It, it does not. It, it does not make sense. any sense. I had, I had a woman one time who was on section, not section eight, based on income housing, basically section eight. Mm-hmm. She told me, um, I made a I made a mention because I had to help her with something, and, and mm-hmm. she made the mention of, uh, well, I got my own shit. Uh, no, you don't. More than <laughs> more than three quarters of your rent is paid by the government or by the <laughs> whoever does a based on income housing. Okay. So I mean, mm. was she emasculating you? No. Okay. She couldn't. I'm just glad. Can't no, nobody she take was my... a little cocky with them benefits, right? Is right. what she was. I mean, dudes are cocky with stuff they don't deserve either. Like <laughs> I'm not gonna go there, but let's just say that if a person, I'm not. That's a whole other. That's a whole other discussion. She saw the if, trap. Cover, <laughs> cover it with leaves. Right. But if a man, if a man leaves his family, and then he does not like the way the woman raises his son, whose fault that's is that? That's not what we're talking about, Chris. Why are what you talking about? We're, we're, what? we're what? talking about emasculating men. How? You just did it. You called him a bitch. You said for leaving. That it doesn't matter why why you say it. It doesn't matter why you say it. You oh, don't know why. You don't know why realistic. every man leaves. You that's not realistic. You can, if, you, you can, if you have a responsibility mm-hmm. and you don't stand up and take care of that responsibility, mm-hmm. then you have a mask. Then you have taken away oh, your own manhood. What when is, did when did women? You remember uh, East Side High with Mr. Clark? When did women become that that little black woman? There, Stanley, you don't take care of your responsibility. Like all black women, when did you become that? Kevin, did she really believe that the first time she called him a bitch was after he was gone? I would never That's call a man a bitch. Said. I That's would never call said. a bitch. I would never yeah, call not, somebody a bitch. You're, if they you're didn't. using that one word, okay? Yeah. No, don't use. Don't worry about the word so much as the action, the the sentiment. You know what I'm saying? You, the idea you said he's just running away. He's a bitch. Do you think that's the first time you felt like that? Before he was probably still there And you was probably giving him that blues On another note Maybe you were singing another note that day I'm not saying you I'm saying you as a woman Crystal <laughs> I want to ask you something Do you need a man? I'm going to ask you another question mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like You want a guy that's a uh, Football player physique? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What? Why, I said, what? do you need a man? Hold on, hold on. why is that funny though? No, go ahead, finish, finish. Yeah, pretty good job, pretty good job, or at least pretty good money? Yeah. Okay, what about the guys who don't have those, those They're things? They're just not good for me. 
Um, so what? they're just not good for me. They're good for someone else. Like who? A broke woman? A broke bitch? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How you took away her femininity? No, I mean another woman that, that likes that. Not everybody likes um, muscles and, and nobody. And, not everybody and likes short, um, um, un, unspectacular mm-hmm. guys, right? I mean, I'm sure there's there's a market for it. There are a lot of short guys walking around getting laid. That's 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 your that's what you're going with. Yeah, those are only for the top ten percent. That's what you're going with? I mean, I know a lot of short guys are getting laid. What I'm saying is, though, is when you think of a man... I think of one that looks like how I like. And if you say that, though, <laughs> that's emasculating to the men who aren't so exactly what I you... So I can't say that that's what I prefer. But men no, 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 can no, no, say... No, no, that's not what I'm saying now. Okay. Because you're just being polite for this show. I have heard you <laughs> not be so kind <laughs> to the guys who aren't football short player niggas, <laughs> as a tall dude. I have not said anything. A lot of short niggas First of do all, not get respect. I don't... I don't... I'm ne- I never tell a guy in their face anything mean. I may say what I think to people that that I'm not talking about, but I never I'm never mean to people. You only so I only say it behind their back. That's so, I, but I but I, but I have a right to choose. Guys are choose, mean. Choose yes, choose yes, but that's yeah. not what we're talking about. What I'm saying is I've heard you mm-hmm. say things that were not so kind okay. about non-football player physique. And Broke I heard dudes. you say things that weren't so kind about women that were shaped like SpongeBob. But does that mean that you're taking away? She's their- still a woman. She is a He's bad still body, a man. bad just- body woman. We love SpongeBob. Everybody hit a SpongeBob here or there. Well, every I mean. There's nothing wrong with a man that yeah. is is short and broke. everybody's hit a broke nigga every yeah. now and then, huh? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, they should. But I think that takes him away from what he should be focusing on. Well, okay. So the the point I was trying to make before you try to wiggle your way through it is that <laughs> women women have a really really good track record of making guys who aren't making a lot of money. Or what the nice guy thing, mm-hmm. or people on the bus, or mm-hmm. people that haven't quite figured out what their career goals are yet. Yes. Okay. They they have the ability to make those guys feel less than. Right. I believe and I empathize with that. And I would also say that. But that's emasculation, though. That that. But I don't think that's mas- emasculation because I th- I think that's just people's preferences. Okay. Because men have done a good job of making women that aren't shaped like Jennifer Lopez or Beyonce feel bad about themselves as well or that aren't the skin color of Beyonce. I mean, there's a whole history of... Okay, okay. No, you can't do that. There's a whole history of of both sides picking what their preferences are. Women pick according to money. Men pick according to beauty. But don't cry when you don't get picked because you're not in that... Don't cry on the other side. Fix it or shut the fuck up. I think the same thing for a, a, a overweight woman that nobody finds attractive. Men don't. I don't see you guys running after women that look like precious, but it's okay. Nobody cries about that. But when a man is like, "Oh, he didn't have enough money to date," oh, she's emasculating. She, he's a good nigga. He just needs to get his shit together, or he First just like of he needs all, to go on a diet. Big girls be having boyfriends. Big girls be getting I, married. I just said short dudes hey. be getting pussy. So we, where are we at? Them, Nobody's them upset. short dudes be with them big girls. <laughs> hey, the skinny guys definitely are. The skinny mm-hmm. guys definitely. And are. and people from the Caribbean island, <laughs> them islanders, they appreciate a healthy them, woman. Them fine ass women would don't be answering none of them DMs and shit, and then be telling everybody they don't measure up. Man, big girls be having boyfriends and somebody bringing them lunch and all that type of shit. They, so I say, and broke dudes, you know. Friendly and warm. One of my friends told me that he has learned how to have sex like a broke dude. And that nobody puts the D down better than a broke guy. He knows that he may have one time and one time only to get in there. and You can't, no. See, that's, 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 that's a fib. See? You really? can't recreate broke dick. You got to be broke. Oh, you think he can't do it? He I, says he can. I don't know. No, no. Because see, I know because <laughs> there's been a time in my life when I was broke dead. And now you can't do it? You can't nah, go back? I, I, you can't. It's because it's different. Mm-hmm. It's a different It's a different savagery. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Was, if you don't have to kill for your food anymore, you can't. You can't eat dinner. I don't have to take this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Like, I don't have to put I'll all just give that me right. another pussy. If it's, I've, got, I've got options. <laughs> right. That's funny. It's just not possible. Mm-hmm. I know it sounds cute, but... It did, it did. I mean, I think girls fall for it, but I was like, that's interesting. When you're killing for your food, it's yeah, a different kind of... a different mindset. You don't eat that shit different. It's kind of like when, you're, when, you, when you make it, you can't go back and have the same hunger and creativity you could when you were broke. Hmm. I don't believe it. I mean, I, it's cute, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's cute to play with that I idea. I bet if a girl is is overweight and considered unattractive and she gets surgery and then she makes herself into this, you know, Instagram person, she probably doesn't treat guys as nicely as she did before. No way possible. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Like, She's got too much revenge, too much spite in her heart. It's almost worse than just a regularly pretty She's girl. a man eater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and see, they're... they're 
a man, there's nothing like a dude that used to be called ugly every day that now has a little bit of success. <laughs> or a Too haircut. short. Too short, bitch. Like the, the anger at women is because he's ugly. Really? Too short? Yeah. You think he's angry still? Yeah, what? I think he's still it's angry. It's like 50 years. <laughs> but you know what? what? But what people, how people are treated before when they're younger is really what stays with them. Have you interviewed him or something? Uh, no, I've just listened to a lot of his interviews. He has a lot of anger. Toward, I mean, he also is very ugly. <laughs> it's okay. He's not that short, though. He's His name is too short. Yeah, but he's not that short. So... The ugly, ugly must just be the ugly thing. Ugly people are normally kinder, gentler souls. Nah, dudes have revenge in their heart, though. They're waiting until they get some money so they can treat you like shit. This is ridiculous. Nah, a dude, especially a big dude, he's going to be clean with it. He's going to be smelling good, be fresh as hell. Mm. Nah, like not Biggie, all fat that's guys. What, not all mm. fat guys are clean as hell. Mm -hmm. Not only the ones that can afford it. You got to have a little money to do that. Because they be, they be, that's their version of self-conscious. Like, okay, I know you're going to get me on fat. You got me on fat. But you can't say shit about nothing else. Well, that's how like, a lot of big girls can got dress really money good and they hand. all have pretty faces. That's like, oh, she's pretty. But. It's just that between their legs, it's so dark. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I've never been there before. You do. I just make that face. You've seen that at the beach. <laughs> no, I haven't. Or you have. No, I have not when, looked in between it, the legs it, of as a big girl. As soon as it gets 64 degrees in Atlanta, they start wearing the short shit. And you're like, <laughs> you're, the inside of your legs is way too black. It's a dark yellow. <laughs> right. Mm, it's like spicy it's, mustard. Wow. Like how? <laughs> wow. Mm. So, okay. So, I, I, I know. I, I got us off again. How do you feel, Kevin, about the dress? The dress dude? <laughs> Billy Porter, we've lost How him. do you feel about the dress dude? It, I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter, right? I don't really give a shit. I, it's not. It's not what I would have picked. Hey, for I the think red people carpet. are just going on emotional tangents on social media. Well, you know what? Maybe I've been desensitized because I'm not necessarily living in Atlanta. I'm not necessarily so offended at a man in a dress. <laughs> I've been in, in the I party. Said and finger leaned earlier, and you flipped out. Hey, I'm just saying, man. These guys, these guys walk around Morehouse in high heels, mm. purses. Who's the guy that's on the Housewives that? Be, it like dresses like a like a guy, but yeah, then has on high heels. Couple, uh, Ms. It is Ms. weird. Lawrence, I, I, yeah, Ms. I don't Lawrence. remember his name. But he, he just kind of looked like nobody had a, a dude name, and it was like Lawrence. somebody J. Oh, oh, um, oh gosh, uh, Derek J. Derek J. <laughs> Ridiculous. He was fairly popular. I think he had a poodle or something. <laughs> yeah, but he, I mean, he, the funny thing about Derek J. is he's built like a. Um, I mean, there's some guy like Miss Lawrence got like. Curvy thighs. No, this is a nigga with heels but, on. Yeah, but Derek J is straight dressed. <laughs> he got a like nigga a, haircut. He does. I'm saying he like you. Yeah. But he will wear a very high heel <laughs> with some nigga clothes. Like no, what? It'd be like, but it, <laughs> he, he wore a black college sweatshirt, <laughs> some damn, <laughs> some damn drip, some jeans, and some stilettos with like silver tips on them. They like, always are bad. The, the shoes fuck? are amazing, but he definitely is like a regular, like dude. a nigga. Like if he took the heels off and wasn't so flamboyant, you yeah. probably wouldn't know. But he may have like his pants may be like velvet. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're like they're they just fit like a dude because he's built like a guy. <laughs> I'm not a. But Billy Porter was snatched. I mean, he was. All I don't the know way, what that means. He, his waist was small. That's snatched. When your waist is smaller, when your curves, when you go in like a wasp and out like a well, that's a country thing. But yeah, when your waist is smaller than the waist to hip ratio, is that hoss? Hoss. Is way, is like, that what? what this football player told me. You want your waist to. Waist like a wasp, ass like a hoss. What's That's that? some country ass. Hoss like horse? Mm -hmm. yeah. That The fact that you even rhyme, the, oh, that's some that's a Oklahoma. country ass. I didn't do it. Yeah, it was in Oklahoma, this guy. So he was like, that's what you want, Crystal. You want your waist. Like <laughs> yippee ki Yeah. Hey. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not offended by it. I don't feel emasculated by him wearing the dress. Well, good. It's, Nor should you feel it's emasculated. It's a little ridiculous, though. I mean, it was very You're a boy, fabulous. Damon. Your boy, <laughs> come on, man. But he was. I mean, it was. It, but you know what? It, it was very androgynous because it had a very manly top and a female bottom. And you know what? It's it's weird to see that on social media, so many black women were um, mm. applauding the. Yes, he killed it. He slayed. Yes, but I have a theory. I have a theory on that. Like because a lot of black women's whose Ooh. best friend is a gay man. They also tend to have relationship problems. They always seem Jesus. to be single. Do you do you know any women and very good close that have a gay best friend? 
Do you? Do I know any you, women no, that have gay best friends? Like really good. Not yeah. someone you saw on TV, but like someone that you can call yeah. them right now. I don't think that many straight dudes are going to let their wife or whatever always hang out with their gay best friend. I don't know any, like I don't, I, I just, I am a woman. I live in Atlanta, right? Mm-hmm. And I have a lot of girlfriends. Right. None of them have a best friend that is gay. I, I, so, I mean, this whole idea of like all these black women out here, I don't know where they are. So who's hanging with these gay dudes? I don't know. Kevin is the one telling us about this. Now, on television, <laughs> they're on, on a couple of reality shows, that's that's the case. But that's also oh, on only reality on show. reality TV? I don't see it. In, it I can call, I could call, I could pick five random chicks in my phone right now and call them and ask them, do they, they have, have a gay, a gay best, best friend? They don't have a gay best friend. Okay. Now, you know who ha- you know who has gay best friends? Other gay men. And what you did not say, because you said the first thing you said, well, black women were applauding. The biggest applause came from gay men. That's who applauded it. They should. They should. Okay, so why is it a problem? He rapping for them. But but <laughs> so why is it why is your anger targeted or your criticism targeted at black women? Why? I didn't say I, I didn't even say it was a criticism. Oh, I, I'm, it's an observation. What is your point? I women that women that ha, I I don't know. Some some women seem to be when, in terms of women's relationships with men. I see they're either tend to be like friends with their husband or friends with gay men. I don't know what that I I. I, I I, maybe you know a lot of different black know. women than it, I do. I could be off in the observation. Maybe that's triggering for somebody. I'm just saying these are things that I see, and I'm not sure how to make sense of it, but I see it. Do you see it? I don't. Is that do fair? You know, do, you, I mean, I mean, do you see it? My wife has friends that are gay, but they're not going to be best friends. Right. Do you? Does your wife have any girlfriends that are very, very tight with a gay man? Not that I, oh, yeah, one. Okay. One. She's white, though. Oh well, then, and then we're that doesn't mean anything. I don't think it means it, but I'm just saying, like, for three of us to be here, and and Kevin says this, this is something very popular. I don't know any, and I'm a black woman, so I would probably be the first person that should know some. I do have friends that are gay, but I don't have it like best friends. And for you to make a statement about relationship problems. Everybody has relationship problems. It doesn't have anything to do with <laughs> black women that are friends with gay men. I'm not saying I'm not saying that relationships are the result of the the gay relationship. Uh, or friendship, I am saying that there seem. It, it, it's like seeing Maybe two not things friend. in the room at the same time. Maybe it's because you said best I don't friend. know that they're necessarily connected, connected, but when I see the two, they're normally not far from each other. Relationship problems? Really? Mm-hmm. Have you. <laughs> Someone like a, a, a woman that may be, may be struggling to find love. Or or doesn't have faith in men. I think I think having a gay man into a woman as a friend is there's something about how she sees men or her comfort level with men. And I don't know those that seem to value a heterosexual man and and that relationship end up getting married. And those that have friend gay male friends. Uh, they they just kind of have that? gay male friends. Okay, so I and then they're hopelessly, yeah, I want to find somebody, but you know, I'm not. You, happy. you know what? You talk like a person that's been married for 15 years. Like, I <laughs> do I really? Yeah, you. I mean, because you are you are newly in a relationship and you are very self righteous about. But you just found love. But you, what, but you you have so many I'm, fingers. I'm in to love point, with a woman. What are you talking about? But I'm but I'm saying you're you're acting like you've always been in this place. So if if we were having this conversation a year and a half ago, you were single. So what problems were you having? Like you act like if a person is not yeah, in a girls. relationship, that that's a problem. But it's not. It just it's it's about where that person is in their life, and you're constantly like, well, they 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 don't get married. You don't know what happens to people. I could you be just wrong. happen to get into a relationship. Well, there, that's awesome. I, but but some of those women that you're saying, oh well, she can't seem to find a husband. She could end up getting married the next the next year, and then what are you going to say? Like you're making some very broad accusations that don't I have am. any. I am, I am, I am. I, I, that's why I said I'm not sure that there's necessarily a, a connection, but but you're saying it's something odd that very, those things are there. That's not well, true. If, if it is true, though, I can see the validity in it, validity in it because much like how strippers view <laughs> men. Mm-hmm. Because of who the men that they're around all the time, mm-hmm. they devalue men because right. of that. Right. So because it's very possible act. that if if women were hanging with a lot of gay dudes, mm-hmm. they would devalue the masculine 
part the masculine of a man. part. But the funny thing about it is the gay friends that I have, they like masculine men. They're attracted to masculine men. In fact, I have a gay friend that I can call right now. He prefers d- to date, and he has dated guys that are that I wouldn't even have known were gay. Are you guys? Are you guys? You and him close? Really close? Yeah. Okay, so that's what he was saying. I think I don't think he meant best friend. Did well, you, is I, mean, that what you I meant? don't talk to him. I mean, he's yeah, not I a mean, just yeah, close friends. That's all. So I think he's saying that a lot of women have gay friends that they're close with. I don't know if because best friend kind of became a sticking point. It, right. Well, because it, it it suggests that's the per, that's her listening the listening board. That's not who I go to to talk about men. Let me ask you a question though. I mean, it's no, funny well, no, no. See, is, let, let me ask this question. Mm-hmm. On this show, you've made reference to the fact that you have gay friends mm-hmm. who have told you numerous times and numerous occasions mm-hmm. that. A lot of straight men are, are sleeping the with them behind. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of the same thing. They're devaluing the masculinity you see in men. And I think, I'm not sure, because mm-hmm. I'm speaking out of turn maybe for Kevin, but it seems like that's what he was trying to articulate. But the best friend thing was a sticking point. The The idea, though, is that they're gay men that you're hanging with mm-hmm. are devaluing men's masculinity to you in some form. Because I think a lot of women feel more comfortable with gay men because they feel like, oh, he's not looking at me, he doesn't want me, he's not going to try me sexually. And that and and that's not any attack attack and yeah. excuse me that's not an attack against any women right because that's evidence that a lot of women have been in contact with some very toxic men. But I'm glad I, we can admit that. I Is think, that fair? I think, the, but I think the problem with his argument was when he said that women who have friends that are gay end have up not having good relationships, relationships. Like, and that was maybe a, a button or something that was just like well, just, I'm, I'm pushing a button a on people like that yeah I think that there is some truth to the fact that hanging around gay dudes is gonna it's impossible not to devalue men. but you know what like, I'll be honest I, I will be honest I I have I guess I have I have two guys that I talk that I would that I have like personal conversations with that are gay and I have, but I do have a gay friends, close friends. The the friends that I call immediately are female. However, the people that probably say the worst things about men <laughs> are females going that have been treated badly by men because ultimately gay men want to fuck men. So they really don't. And also gay men don't ever. My female friends. I have a female friend who has been celibate for four years. One that's Ugh. been celibate for twelve years. Ugh. That's who's saying men are full of her, shit. Her pussy don't work no the, more. The gay guys are saying, I'm about to go get me some. So that's that really is opposite. Like, if you're looking at who's going to say, if if you're in a relationship, when I, just, when I was in a relationship last year, the people that were like, get out, get out of the relationship, you're not, we're women. The gay guys were not saying that. So, I mean, they're, <laughs> I, they're like, oh, girl, he fine. I'm going, you know, they, they, they don't. You sure you don't want him no more like that? They, they were like, I'll take him. Like, my, <laughs> my gay friend was like, oh, child, that, he is fine. So, the people that were like, leave were female. So, I mean, that to Did me. Did you make the intro? Kinda, <laughs> no, I didn't make the intro. He probably would have got beat up. But, um, oh, yeah, wow. I mean, it's just uh, that my gay friends have never been like, he ain't shit. They'll be like, at least for me, they've been like, you know, usually. I don't think that's how they do. De- de- I don't think that's how. I think it can't just, be because they never say that. They do. T- my one friend in particular, not the other one, has told me that he slept with a lot of guys that were straight or that appeared straight. Um, but I think that I think the issues with relationships are solely between men and heterosexual men and heterosexual women. I don't think the gay community is adding to that. There is enough issues <laughs> between straight men and straight women that cause. Conflict. I also, I don't think it's a button, but I think for someone to be, you know, you can be in a relationship and you can be out of a relationship. But when you get in a relationship to then throw stones at people that are not, it's just kind of hypocritical because it's like, weren't you just over here, you know, a little while ago and now you're not? But that doesn't mean that you're better. That doesn't mean that you're better at solving Who's things. Who's throwing just, stones? You threw some stones saying that women that, I, that have I throw no with, stones. You just, here you are said, my hands. You said that- I throw no stones. Women that have gay friends have trouble with relationships. That's that's a very- That's, that's not- a, That's a. I just know what I, I clarified that by saying, and, and I apologize for if I offended you with that statement. I, don't think, I think you that, offend a lot of people attack. with that statement. What yeah, I, that was offensive to a lot of people. Hey, I, I understand that it's it's an uncomfortable place, but I was just saying that it's an, ob, it's an observation. <laughs> what? I'm just saying it's an observation. I've seen if you if if you're around gay men or or other women who are unhappy. That's a better statement. Don't don't say gay men. Just unhappy people. Ten. You can, well, you can move this so you don't have to well, well, being gay, although although gay means happy, because you're gay doesn't mean you're unhappy. 
So I'm not I, I'm not going to do that. But if well, you're hang if you're hanging around uh, people like that, unhappy then people. the chances that you, the chances are I think the chances are lower that you're going to find the heterosexual man that you want to marry and have a happy future with. I don't agree, but that's those, we can agree to those disagree. Guys, I, I don't I don't. I don't know many, and and maybe this is just my filter and my bubble, but I don't know that heterosexual men that are trying to date women are are like really have close friendships with gay men. Let me tell you something. Or unhappy I, my, women. My biggest, the biggest threat to a relationship is my best friend who is not gay, who is a man. He would be the problem because a guy that I was with would be like, "Why are you hanging around him? He's straight." And you know, and very alpha male ish, and he's around all the time. That's the problem. That would be a bigger problem than a gay. The gay dude's gonna be like, "Girl, he's fine. I want to get some. When you gonna fuck him?" The straight dude is like, "Uh, he's hating because he's like, you know, if the guy is not well, he how much money does he make? He's not good enough for you." That that's what the straight guy is gonna say. So I would just say, if you're looking at issues, it it may not be coming from the gay side. It could be coming from my friends because the guys that I'm friends with are very very. Um, opinionated about what makes another man a man. So they would have negative things mm-hmm. to say before the gay guy would. And that's real. Mm. <laughs> mm. So no dress is what you're saying on the red carpet? <laughs> no dress on no the dress. red carpet. I agree. No dress on the red carpet. He just said he didn't I'm not, mind. I'm not mad at him. I'm not, I don't, I'm not mad at him, but no dress on the red carpet. I don't think it matters. Oh, the silence. I don't oh, think it oh, matters. I think if he wanted to wear a dress, he can wear a dress. I mean, it, there are people, other people wear dresses on the red carpet. Other women? I, mm, they'll be, I'm sure Boy George wore something that was similar to a dress at one point. Or someone that's been fabulous, outrageous. And maybe this is even too far hotep for me, but I think that that actually comes from like the idea of, uh, of like God floating in a cloud. And the that's why the, it like kind of, Balloons out as if that's a cloud. The dress is. Does that? I'm not get that vision. But I'm not sure if you're saying I no think or that's yes where that now. Comes from because sounds like you're saying yes. Like that sounds awesome. God floating in a cloud. That sounds awesome. I think that's I want to be that God in a cloud. I don't know anything about that. I think that's just a corset, and the corset Maybe was so. made to make the waist think. seem very, very small, and then the the big hoops that the women used to wear back in the day. It was a sign of femininity. So I, I do some research. It, it sounds it sounds like a woke theory, but it hey, I don't even know that woke people were into God. So am I wrong then if I if me and my son are watching the Oscars mm-hmm. and I say, don't ever do that. <laughs> no, say I'm serious. Because if you're saying there's no agenda, right? I don't right? think there's an agenda. You're saying there's no agenda. Mm-hmm. Am I am I is it illegal socially for me to say, don't do that? That's not cool. To my son. Is your some son people, gay? No, no, no. I, no matter what my son is, I'm saying right. don't do that. Right. Is it wrong for me to say that? Because if it, it because I think that's where the problem comes down. So like when I saw Willie D talking about he was um he was he was mad at Jada Pinkett because she was one of the ones saying mm-hmm. do your thing or whatever. Yeah. And if Jada Pinkett can do that and he can wear the damn dress on the on the red red carpet, mm-hmm. showing that black men are supposed to wear dresses sometimes. <laughs> Is, is it okay for me to tell my son, "Fuck no, it's not okay for black men to wear dresses"? Sometimes it's 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 a tough it's a tough spot to be in because I think I think that even the most forward thinking man still wants his son to be a man. Even the most forward thinking man wants his son to still be a man, right? And you're saying right. and he said like he, said like he even feels Will very Smith, masculine. Well, when Will he wore Smith the dress. said he had to have a conversation with Jaden. Like, hey man, like um, you know, I, how do we figure this out? Um, I, I, I wanna I wanna love you and support you as as my my son and and the person that you're becoming, right? And I wanna support you in your endeavors. Um, there's a, a, a part of the of parent that wants their child to be a certain way, mm-hmm. even if they turn out different, um, it's not than what you may have expected. It's, it's you know not fair saying? for a parent to not be able to tell his son being gay is wrong if that's what they feel. Mm. Because you don't, you tell your son, don't be a uh, whatever. I think that, I mean, how I feel about it, I feel like I had those two children. I can tell 
them. Can you, in the mic, please? I'm sorry. I feel like I can say whatever I want to my children. I do. I feel like I can say whatever I want to the, ch- the children that came out of my body. And I, I, I think any, any parent can. Now, if my child... So then um, I can sit in and watch yes. it with my son and be like, no, yeah. we don't do, fuck no, we don't do that. Yeah, I think you have a right to say whatever you want to your child. Now, would you, would you say that to a public group of, you know, people in public? I probably wouldn't because I'm, I'm really personally concerned about what the two people that came out of my womb do. But, I share okay. my personal yeah, opinion with but, them. Yeah, but see, here's the problem, Crystal. Here's the problem with that. Jada Pinkett has no problem telling my son that that's great. Well, I don't think she said it specifically to anybody. She said no, 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 to her platform no. that she was. No, you know, no, the, no, no, she's a public person. She is a public. So person. when she says it, she's saying it to my son. So is it? It's okay for that side of the the table to say no. I see you have to accept now. gay mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. That's right. It's 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 the, it's, it's what they want to be. Is what whatever. This is beautiful. Right. If they're gonna if they can say it to my kid, right. Why can't I say it to their kids? I mean, I guess if you had a public platform, then that would be your decision. But I, I don't think... Is it socially illegal? Because that's is. what it feels like. It, it, it is. Both of them are. It, it feels, no. It feels like, honestly, I'll be honest, <laughs> it feels like it's only illegal to say it negatively, right? People can say that that's awesome, that's great. But if you were to say, I don't agree with that, What if I say it's considered- awesome to be a manly man that doesn't suck dick? That's going to be socially illegal. It is illegal. awesome to not take dick in your ass. <laughs> it's gonna That's be, a great way to be as a man. It's going to be socially illegal. I'm not I, saying I, anything I, negative. I'm just I'm saying inclined it's, to agree with it's you, sir. better to not take dick. That's a whole... It's much better. <laughs> it's, it's amazingly... <laughs> the gap between how great it is <laughs> to not know. take dick... You don't know if it's great because you're not... You, you, don't, you don't desire that. That's not your natural disposition. That's not what we do, son. <laughs> I know, okay, how about this? I've never stuck my finger up my nose to the bottom knuckle. <laughs> That's not the same. That's How do you know? How do you That's not the same. What I do know is I've never that, done that, but I have a good homo- idea. That sexuality. So this is a knows. very basic. <laughs> this is a very basic conversation. No, no. Because, the the point I made before. The point I made before is not basic. Her giving, having the, her feeling like she right, has the right, right to tell my kids that that's great and do your thing. When I'm saying fuck no, that's not right. That that's that's illegal to me. I feel like that's illegal to my to my. I, I understand my that. bubble. Right, I understand that, but I don't think that. I think that her saying that was more to congratulate him than her giving a public service announcement for t- towards children. Right, I just think that she was champion championing. Um, you know, someone but inadvertently, that she inadvertently, she she does that because she's a public figure that people look up to. Yeah, but what should she have said? Nothing. Uh, that's not realistic. So people then, don't are give their opinion. I don't. I don't mind. It. Okay, so if that's I can all I'm saying. Is, as long mm-hmm. as I can say, it's much better to not wear a dress on the red carpet. <laughs> it just looks more masculine to not wear a dress. But, but you know what? Be hey, there, there were black men that were at the Oscars, right? And I haven't seen photos of any man in a tuxedo or a nice suit. I mean, that one definitely overshadowed that, because it, it did look, it was shocking. It was I didn't striking. see anyone say, oh, like this, like Chad, Chad this example Bozeman, of masculinity. Okay, so Chadwick Chris- Boseman had on a suit that um, had a train, a trail, so, and it was a high-low. So what I'm saying, Crystal, kind of, is if, um, if you were to get the highlights, right? Right. You know, let's say that you weren't able to attend mm-hmm. and you only got the highlights. Right. One would assume, based off of the, the, the outfits that got attention, that this is how guys dress. No, this is how gay men dress. No, but I mean, you, do you know that from the picture? I didn't know he was gay. I asked you before we started. I, like, is this, I would have assumed gay? that he was gay. Well, I thought because how shocking it was, maybe he was making a point, and that's why Jada Pinkett went over over the top. I don't why think do any you... straight man would come dressed in a in a fitted gown. I don't know. I don't know that. I don't know. Well, because, that's unfortunate. No, there are people who are doing a lot of shit for a. Well, for maybe publicity. they're not straight. Nah, there are people doing a lot of weird shit he, for publicity. He kind of stole the limelight from a lot of women. He did. He stole the limelight because she said he's the most, the best, the best dressed man or woman, right? I think he was best dressed, yeah. But she said best dressed man or woman, literally. Oh well, like those were her words. Okay. He 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 had the most. Was that a play on words because it was a man in a dress? He had the most. No, I think she was just saying that out of the night, he that was the outfit that 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 was was the most. She was was making a joke. Yeah, I think it was like a. She was making it. She was making a. He's the best dressed woman. Gay man joke. Because he's a girl. Man, woman. I, th- I mean, I think it was it Girly caused man. the most attention. I think it's fine. But I should be able to say it without it being I get what you're the saying social police coming for it me. Should, saying, it should. I think that we should be able to say how we feel regardless of if you agree with something or not. And it does seem like the 
social police attack anything that's not kind towards anything different. Thus the agenda. This is why people say there's an agenda. This is why people say there's a gay agenda. When you can't say that anything against that mm-hmm. or to a, to the opposite of that, mm-hmm. then that's what they mean by agenda. They're shutting people down mm-hmm. who say that's not cool. Now, I can understand that. That's what I have a problem with is saying that there is an agenda to emasculate the black man. I don't agree with that. I, I think that the agenda, there could be an agenda to to make homosexuality the norm. Really, I don't know even what it is because now we have a lot of things happening. It's the transgender and a lot, it's a lot of things, pansexuals, a lot of stuff is happening. And I think there's an agenda to push all of that into mainstream and make us all one big fluid gender. But I don't think that black men, black straight men are being targeted. Who else is being targeted? I don't think anyone's being targeted. I think that, that they want people to... F- if anyone were to be targeted out of all the groups that these people kind of step on, who would it be? I don't think that any group is targeted. I think this is anyone who doesn't agree with his agenda. Christian people, which, you know, are often targeted here. Um, Christian how? Because a lot of gays are in the church. People that don't agree with homosexuality. Well, he's not in the church anymore. Well, and he also he's moved, agrees he's with homosexuality. <laughs> He's raping little boys. Delivered. He's raping little boys in heaven now. He's. Come on. (laughs) Come on. No, I don't. You don't think he's still? He think he stopped when he? You think that that stopped? I don't think. First of all, I don't think he's in heaven. What? And I don't. Pastor Bishop Eddie Long. He. You know how much good he? He rapes. I mean, saves more than he rapes. Saves what? (laughs) (laughs) Spirits. Uh, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Music Club Life.